This is a TFG Sports Media Report. I'm your sports guy, Kendrick. Got breaking news coming in. Detained WNBA star Brittany Griner pleaded guilty on Thursday to bringing hashish oil into Russia, telling the judge that she had done so inadvertently while asking the court for mercy. The move is not expected to end her trial in Kamiki, Russia anytime soon. Even with a guilty plea in Russian criminal courts, the judge will continue to read the full case file into the record and it could still go on for weeks or months. Griner, who was detained at Moscow's airport on February the 17th, told the court that she packed vape cartridges accidentally and did not intend to break Russian law. The next court hearing was scheduled for July 14th. Griner, who asked the judge for time to prepare her testimony, faces up to 10 years in prison if convicted of large-scale transportation of drugs. The State Department issued a statement Thursday saying it continues to work for Griner's release. Before Thursday's hearing, Russian police escorted Griner, handcuffed and clad in a bright red t-shirt and sports trousers, into the courtroom past a crowd of journalists. Sources said the guilty plea to charges of drug possession and smuggling was a strategy to help facilitate a prisoner swap that could bring Griner home, and it also was a recognition that there was no way she was going to be acquitted. U.S. officials and Russia experts have described the trial, which was in its second day as theater, with a guilty verdict seen as a foregone conclusion. The White House said Biden called Griner's wife on Wednesday to assure her that he's doing all he can to obtain the athlete's release as soon as possible. They spoke after Biden read a letter from Griner in which she said she feared she'd never return home. There is no timetable for the length of the trial, but the real resolution to Griner's case is expected to be a deal that brings one or more Russians currently in U.S. custody back to Russia in exchange for the release of Griner and possibly another American, Paul Whelan, who has been detained in Russia since December 2018. So again, breaking news. Uh, coming out of Russia, Brittany Griner pleaded guilty today in court, and uh, she's looking at a possibility of 10 years in prison if convicted. This has been a TFG Sports Media Report. I'm your sports guy, Kendrick. Until next time, we'll see you on the other side. Peace.